Good thing my wife doesn't drive it like that. If you're watching this video, you're probably wanting one. If you're needing me to convince you, you can stop the video now and just go ahead and buy it. So why did I buy it? I'm a huge turbo tuner fan and I wanted that whoosh whoosh. This is actually, in my opinion, the first legit real blow-off valve for the N55 or I guess the EWG crowd. As you can see here, the build quality is absolutely fantastic. It's made of what feels like a single block of CNC aluminum and it just feels better built and superior than the stock plastic decorative valve in every single way. I took it to my guys at Kinetic Motors in St. Louis to do the work. If it's a Beamer, these guys are the top dogs in town. So I paid the shop two shop hours to install it and it took almost all two hours to do it. Could I have done it myself? I mean, I probably could have, but not without breaking something and costing me even more money. So for something like this, I'll leave it to the pros. Here are some of the conversations we had to show you how frustrating this job can mean to the driveway warrior. You, did you actually, so you just loosened up the water pump? Yeah, so I was able to move this out of the way. Uh -huh. um, I had to use a, a, a wobble extension with a, with a wobble on it, but I was able to get it off. Oh, okay, so the wobble of, extension. Kind of tight, there's a wobble here too. So now you guys stick your hand in there and get it back in. That's crazy. So it's, Right there. Yeah, that's why they say to put the, the thicker O-ring so the plunger seals tighter. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Because otherwise it could be a loose leak. Yeah. So tell me how much of a pain it was. <laughs> it was quite a bit. Uh, there's a there's a plate that bolts right here the water pump uh -huh. um, that I took off and it gave me a little extra room. I had to use a really long ball headed uh, Allen key to get this top one in. So it was the ball head Allen key that basically allowed you to get deep in. Yeah. Well that and it was it's long and skinny which gave me just enough room to get where I needed to get. To get Put that bolt on so you can pry it. Because oh, so, uh, it's so tight in there. So that's where the water pump was actually. Yeah, this is where the water pump bolts. See, now I just, I'm not, now I don't know where it went. There it is. It was in there so tight. Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. It's right there. <laughs> it's running away from me. That's what it was. Push the plunger in. Kind of crazy. So on this one, the plunger is in here. Ah. moment has come. As with any car, right after you mod it, it's like getting a new car. That's why I like to space out my mods so I can enjoy them more. Before we start hearing the noises, I do not have an exhaust yet, yet, and the 6 series is pretty insulated so I imagine it's a lot louder on like an F30. Actually I know it's louder on an F30 because I've had an F36, especially with an intake. Also, uh, Boost is almost stock on my car, so it goes up to about 50 peak with the JB4. And lastly, in comfort mode, you don't really hear it as much. 
Uh, you hear it in this video because of how I mic the engine, but in everyday driving, you really only hear it in sport mode, which makes it easy to hide from like, you know, the spouse. So here it is. The sound and the sensation of the blow off valve is, is really hard to capture in the car. Um, so, I mean, you can, this, is, this kind of sounds like how it sounds in the car, minus some of like the engine ticking sounds. Um, so what I did was I put a mic in the engine and I put a mic in the camera and I blended the two. So this is probably the closest of what the blow off valve actually sounds like. And to be honest, I don't think any video on the internet really captures it well, so this is uh, my best interpretation of how it actually sounds. As you can tell, in comfort mode, it's significantly quieter, um, and you really only hear the blow off valve when you let out the gas, and that's just how wastegates and blow off valves work. So that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I enjoyed making it, of course, and there's a lot more content to come. I've actually had this blow off valve installed on my car for the last uh, five, six thousand miles now, and I haven't had any issues. Um, it is one of those mods that I, I believe I spent like $500 altogether to buy it and get it installed. And uh, I would totally do it again. It's, it's a fantastic mod. It just makes the car more fun. And I love these little bitty mods that, that um, help me kind of enjoy the car all over again. So this is the mod that I have now. I'm probably going to do another video on the lip. Um, I'm going to get an exhaust installed soon um, So stay tuned guys. There's a lot to come. Please subscribe more good content coming. Thanks for watching Later.